important for you to, to look at your goals, truly what you want to do in your life, and then look at the people who you spend the most time with in your life and figure out if that lines up. All right, what's happening? What's happening, guys? Good morning. It is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. And uh, man, we've got a fire topic for you this morning, guys. This is one of my one of my favorites. It is uh, something that I've spent a lot of time studying, so I'm pretty comfortable with this topic. We're going to talk about the six basic human needs this morning. Uh, and it's, it's going to be literally something that is it's at the core of you guys understanding yourselves, understanding those people that are around you that maybe you don't understand right now. Um, this one's going to be a good one. So uh, typically, I ask you guys to share this out. I'm going to ask you uh, multiple times today to share this out because I think that a lot of people will benefit from this conversation. And I think this will be one that a lot of people will want to go back and watch. So if you guys could hit that share button for me, I would appreciate it. So Let's jump right in here. But first, let me just say good morning to some people. What's happening, Tammy, Carla, Mark, Mr. Ken Walls up bright and early in the morning. What's happening, brother? Uh, Jared Dayton, what's happening, guys? Thanks for jumping on here this morning. Let's see if there's anybody else on here. I think we got them all so far. At least that's all I can see. So we're going to talk about the six basic human needs this morning. So um, the six basic human needs, guys, are gonna they're gonna tell you everything that you really need in your life to feel complete, to feel the way that you want to feel, to feel um, full, to to live a life of fulfillment. So uh, I'm gonna start with number one, certainty. So certainty, at, at its basic definition, is really the assurance that you can avoid pain and gain pleasure. Um, pretty simple. I think we all understand what that means, what that looks like. Uh, but it is it is important for us to understand that. It's the ability for us to feel comfortable, right? And so, for example, right now with regard to the virus that's going on in the world, everyone is waiting for that day, aren't we? That we can feel certain about the ability to avoid pain with regard to that virus. Um, a lot of people get there faster than others, but the lack of certainty um, is, is a challenge for a lot of people right now. They want to feel that certainty. They want that feeling to be able to avoid pain. So the example I use to describe it is, you know, we get in our cars every single day. We drive around everywhere and uh, many of us, I, I drive a ton. And we don't ever worry about, you know, the car veering off the road, the steering wheel falling off. Most people don't even think about whether they would be in an accident or, or anything like that because they've done this particular activity enough times for them to feel certain about everything being OK. Right. But as human beings, when we start to feel a little bit too certain uh, we tend to get a little bit bored in life. And so uh, that leads us to the second human need, which is uncertainty or variety. So uh, at its basic definition, the need for change, the need for adventure, the need for new things, uh, the challenges of the unknown. I think everybody uh, likes that kind of feeling, that, that drive that we get when we're pushing to a new level in life, that uncertainty that we feel allows us to feel accomplishment on the other side of it, doesn't it? So uncertainty and variety is, is number two. So certainty and uncertainty. Number three is significance. This one is a big one for a lot of people. Uh, and I think society is pushing this to be bigger and bigger all the time, right? So this is the feeling of being unique, the feeling of being important, uh, special, needed, having independence, this one can come from a variety of places. So you could get this from having uh, more money, being more spiritual, acquiring something that you've desired for a long time in your life or something that really means a lot to you, right? Something that you've wanted for a long time. Maybe it's something in your family you get, but you feel significance from having these things. Um, that is, a, it is a, an enormous 
human need is to feel significance in relationships. A lot of times you will see that the, the challenges that people have in relationships or marriages is that uh, they don't make the other person feel significant, that that person doesn't feel enough significance, which leads us to number four, uh, love and connection. So love and connection, a strong feeling of closeness or union with someone or something. This need is so important that God puts us on this earth in a family structure that provides this from the second that we're born. And, and you could really argue that it's provided from the instant that we are conceived, right? Uh, and, and that feeling of love and connection is one that when it's missing, it is a glaring miss in someone's makeup and their personality, right? All of these basic human needs transition over to create a personality. And so when that one's missing or when any of the others are missing, uh, you'll be able to, to pick that out. So those four kind of lead us to the last two. And the last two, I believe, are, you know, a little bit more on the, the spiritual side, kind of the, the, the inside stuff. Um, number five is growth. So it's an expansion of your capacity. It's a capability or understanding is what it is by definition. If you don't have growth in your life, uh, you will have nothing because you will not feel, you will not be able to feel a lot of those other things. So uh, there is no staying the same in this world. You're either growing or you're going in reverse. They say you're growing or you're dying, right? And I, I believe that to be true. And that is true for your business, for your marriage, for your friendships, for your finances, for your health. Um, this is a big one for me because uh, to me, you know, over the last few years here, I've worked on discipline, self-discipline. And I believe that self-discipline is what leads ultimately to the growth that you want to experience, that you want to feel, right? One of the basic human needs. And that leads us to uh, the last one here, which is contribution. And I think a lot of people um, go hot and cold with this one, right? So contribution is a sense of service and focus on helping, giving and support, giving to and supporting others. So I believe, you know, that the reason that we want to grow is so that uh, we can contribute to others, right? Uh, many of the times that we're having conversations about what we want to do inside of our company, the result is what we want to do for others. It's either what we want to do for the people on our team, what we want to do for the community, who we want to give back to, those kinds of things. I would say for the vast majority of people that our own needs are a distant second to the needs of the people who are most important to us. Right. So for those of you who have families, how many of you would starve yourself to be able to feed your children? How many would give their own life so that your child could live? And I bet everybody that has children right now is saying, hell yes, I would do it in a second. So what I will tell you is this, guys, these six needs are the blueprint to how you see what you need more of in your life. Um, these are easy to find. These are Tony Robbins came up with these six basic human needs. Um, so you can just Google Tony Robbins, six basic human needs, and, and they'll come up and they'll have definitions and things you can print out. I would encourage you to spend some time on these things and memorize them and get them to be part of your daily routine and, and part of uh, things that you, that you memorize. So, uh, and what you find out is that, you know, maybe you're lacking in some certainty in certain areas of your life. Maybe your connection with your spouse isn't quite uh, what, what you would want it to be. Maybe you've lost focus on your mission to give back to others. Maybe you haven't tried hard enough to achieve the growth that you said at one point you wanted so bad. And you kind of just gave up on that. But if you can take the time to refocus yourself around these six things, um, you will be on your way to living a much, much more fulfilling life. 
And so uh, as I was doing the research on this to, to prepare for this show, I was watching a video from Tony Robbins and uh, he asked a question. And this is one that I want you guys to ponder. And it, it, it connects to everything that we're talking about here. Um, and he said, you know, when do people really start to live? When do people really start to live? And the answer that he gave was the best time he's ever seen when people really start to live is when they're faced with death. And so I would ask you if today was your last day and you knew that, who would you call? What would you do? What would you say to those? Who would you call? And what would you say to those people? And every single thing that you just thought about right there, as I said that, all those people, all the things that you want to say, they're all connected to either your basic human needs or the basic human needs of somebody else that's important to you in your life. And there is nothing more important than understanding what it is that people need and giving to them. And, and also understanding that, you know, at times we are always going to fall short of this. You know, we're not going to be the best leader every day. We're not going to be the best husband, the best father, uh, the best wife or the best mother every single day. But if we stay focused on those six basic human needs, not just on our own, but on providing those to the people who are most important to us, we will be on our way to living incredible, incredible lives. So I want to run through them one more time with you guys. Uh, just, just what they're called. So one is certainty. Two is uncertainty or variety. Significance, love or connection, growth and contribution. And so as you go into the day today, I want you guys to think about that list and think about how you can improve that list for yourself but also how you can improve that list for those people you care about. If it's, if it's your wife, if it's your parents, if it's um, you know somebody on your team that maybe looks like they need it, right? Take the time to do that. And, and when you do that and you're satisfying your own basic human needs and you're, you're satisfying the needs of those people who are important to you, man, you're gonna have some great, great days. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I wanted to be short and sweet today, but I hope that it was impactful. Again, I'll, um, I'll, I'll drop some links in the comments here to places where you can get some information on the basic human needs and some of the, uh, some of the videos that are out there that talk about this. But it is, it is the most important thing you can do to gain balance in your life and to make sure that you're always dialing in that gauge just a little bit sharper every single day. And every time you level up, you got to remind yourself again, because a lot of these things fall off, right? You start to sacrifice those needs for the things that are right in front of you, right in front of you at that moment becomes more important than the long term. And uh, when we take care of those human needs, we feel fulfilled. We are able to charge ourselves. We're able to set fire to ourselves so that we can then go and set fires to others and contribute to the people around us. Because when you start to contribute to those people around you, to uh, the things in your community, to all those kinds of things, that's kind of the building block of where it all leads is to being able to contribute to others. And so when we do that, when we are full of all of the other things, then uh, it leads to us being able to contribute to others. And that is what we are put here on this earth to do, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm wishing you guys an awesome Wednesday. I appreciate all of you guys being on here. What's happening? Clayton, Daniel, Dina, Larray, Sean, Donnie. What's happening? Jeff Nelson. Good morning, man. Mark Ferrelli, always on here, man. Thank you. Uh, my wife is on here. Love you, babe. Mr. Calloway, Scott Ringland. What's happening, guys? Luke, hey, what's happening, brother? Haven't seen you in a minute, bro. Um, thank you guys for jumping on here. How, Bob, Tammy, Carla. Mark, hopefully Ken Walls is still on here. Jared Dayton, thank you guys for being on here, man. Wishing you guys an awesome Wednesday. I've been up since 4.15 a.m., so I'm, I've already got like half a day's worth of work in. So I hope you guys are crushing it already this morning. If not, get off of this. 
set some fire to yourself and get moving, folks. You only get one May 20th, 2020. Make it a great one. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m., same place, same time, right here on Morning Perspective. Share this out to your page. Thank you, guys. Love you guys.